Ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony is about to begin. Please rise.
band is stopping. The band is stopping. It's like two people left. I don't know if he's asking. Hello, sir. No, <laughs> He aloha no a he aloha la he aloha no na ewa pili ana ike ka iko ila aloha kupa o ka aina e o e ka i aha maule o la ke awa lo pulo. He aloha no a he aloha la he aloha no hono uli 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 li anaka ana e holo la ka i ahli a ka makani ke kani o ka pu e o la ho o la i na pu la pu la na pu la pu.
Please be seated. Thank you, Dr. Leilani Basham and Kaliko Lani Korea for He Aloha No Na Eva, which, which was composed in honor of the Eva district and each of its Ahu Pua'a. They were accompanied by the UH West O'ahu Chorus. Special guests, members of the graduating class, parents, family, and friends, welcome to the fall 2017 commencement at the University of Hawaii West O'ahu. My name is Leila Waishimokawa, and I'll be your co MC for today's festivities. This is a special occasion for our graduates and families, so please silence your cell phones. Thank you. And now, may I please welcome to the podium our Chancellor, Maynette Benham. Mahalo, Leila. Velina mai e na haumana, na kumu. Na ho aloha, ame na ohana, ikakako, I papahana puka, kula, kau ha ule lau, no kamakahiki, e lua kaukani, umi kuma hiku, make kula nui o Hawaii, ma o ahu komohana nei. Aloha. Welcome to our students, our faculty and staff friends and family to our fall 2017 University of Hawaii West O'ahu graduation ceremony. Mahalo nui to each of you for coming to celebrate this remarkable, uh, the remarkable accomplishments of our graduates on this very blessed Saturday morning. To our graduates, Ho'omaika iya oko a imua e pupu kahi i holomua e na po ki'i. Congratulations to you, our graduates. Now it is time for you to sail forward. Thank you, Chancellor Benham. And now, in what is a tradition at UH West Oahu, it is with great pleasure that I introduce my co-MC, Rashad Hicks. Rashad is a candidate for graduation with a degree in business administration and a concentration in accounting. He is the president and founder of the Pu'eo Film Club, a Pu'eo leader, and a member of the Dean's List and Golden Key International Society. Please welcome Rashad Hicks. All right, uh, thank you. I'm so honored here to be here today. It is my pleasure to introduce to the University of Hawaii West Oahu and the University Chorus, who will perform the Star Spangled Banner and Hawaii Pono'i. Please rise.
Please be seated. Thank you to the UH West Oahu Band and its co-directors, Michael Nakasone and Chad Kame, and the University Chorus, led by Dr. John Magnuson. I'm pleased to introduce our distinguished guests. Please rise as your name is called and remain standing. Will the audience please ho withhold your applause until all are recognized? Ka'iolani Murphy, our keynote speaker. Board of Regents Vice Chair, Benjamin Kudo. Regent Michael McInerney. Dr. Donald Strini, Vice President, Planning and Academic Policy, University of Hawaii. Garrett Yoshimi, Vice President for Information Technology and the CIO, University of Hawaii. Dr. Maynette Benham, Chancellor. Dr. Jeffrey Moniz, Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. Dr. Judy Oliveira, Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. Dr. Alan Rosenfeld, UH West Oahu Faculty Senate. Dr. Derek Choi, Chair, Business Division. Dr. Mary Heller, Chair, Education Division. Dr. Stanley Orr, Chair, Humanities Division. Dr. Christina Liu, Chair, Public Administration Division. Dr. Mark Hansen, Chair, Social Sciences Division. Dr. Jennifer Burns, our Faculty Marshal. Dr. Monica Labriola, Faculty Marshal. Tedina Fagao, our Student Commencement Speaker. Senator Will Espero, Senator Clarence Nishihara, Representative Tai Cullen, Representative Mat Matthew Lopresti, Representative Andrea Tupola, City Council Chair Ron Menor, City Councilwoman Kimberly Marcos Pine, and Naoto Yoshikawa, Chancellor, Hawaii Tokai International College. We're so grateful for all that you've done and are honored that you could be a part of today's celebration. Please give them a round of applause. We are honored to have with us today from the UH Board of Regents, Vice Chair Benjamin A. Kudo and Regent Michael McInerney. UH West Oahu is grateful to the Board of Regents for its continued support of our campus. I would like to invite Vice Chair Kudo to the podium. Aloha everyone. On behalf of all of the administration, the Board of Regents, faculty, and those of you that are here to support the graduates, there are many things that we have to be grateful for as we stand here today. We are privileged to be able to participate and bear witness to your graduation ceremony this morning. To you, the fall class of 2017 of the University of Hawaii, West Oahu, our sincerest and well-deserved congratulations. This graduating class signifies the 3,082 students that will have graduated from this university since opening its doors. Please give yourself a big round of applause. Although this is your day to celebrate and rejoice at your individual accomplishments, please be sure to recognize those who had a part in bringing you to this point in your lives. Your counselors, your professors, your friends, and let's not forget your parents and family who hopefully encouraged you and gave you inspiration to achieve what you have today. A few weeks ago, I participated in a very special graduation ceremony for UH Manoa student. The ceremony was an intimate one and private one conducted at a local hospital at the bedside of the student's father. His father was facing his last moments on this earth and had a dream of seeing his son graduate from the university. It was a heartwarming and emotional moment for all of us. As we finished the graduation ceremony by his bedside, 
The student who was dressed in his cap and gown leaned over to his dad and said, I graduated, Dad. I graduated. His father's eyes opened. He could not speak, but his mouth moved. And next to the bed, the heart monitor evidenced his emotional happiness. From this experience, I realized that one's personal accomplishment can embody the dreams, aspiration, and hopes of others, even those who may not be here today. Your personal accomplishments may and can fulfill the dreams of others. Be mindful as you celebrate this great day to be thankful to those that dream on your behalf. As my father always told myself and my brother Frank Kudo, an education once received is a gift that no one can ever take away from you. We honor all of you today with that gift. On behalf of the Regents of the University of Hawaii, our sincerest congratulations to you, the fall class of 2017. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Chair Kudo. I would now like to call upon the UH System Vice President for Academic Planning and Policy, Donald Straney, to give greetings from the University of Hawaii System. Aloha. It's a pleasure to be here today to give you greetings and congratulations from President David Lasner and from the other nine campuses in the University of Hawaii system. We know what it has taken for you to get here. We know the work that you've done and what you've accomplished. We also know the support that you've received from your families and friends that have made it possible for all of us to be here today. But today, you become permanent members of the University of Hawaii. Up until now, you could have gone somewhere else, gotten a degree somewhere else. But when you graduate, you become permanent members of the University of Hawaii Ohana. And we are extremely proud to welcome you to our ranks. There are three things that make a university campus great. One is the accomplishment of its faculty. The second is the support it has from its community. But most importantly, it's what its alumni accomplish. We very much look forward to seeing what you do with your degrees in your lives, and we're very optimistic that you will make us very proud. Mahalo. Thank you, Vice President Strainey. I would now like to invite Chancellor Benham back to the podium to introduce our keynote speaker, Ka Iolani Murphy. Ka Iolani Murphy was born and raised in Waimea and Waipio Valley on Mokuo Keawe, Hawaii Island. With her hands in the dirt, her Kua Aina roots firmly established her identity as Hawaiian. While a Hawaiian study student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, she found her passion in voyaging and has been a crew member with Hokulea since 1998. Her first deep sea voyage was from Tahiti to Hawaii in 2000. A key crew member and navigator for Hokulea's historic global circumnavigation, she is working to revolutionize Hawaiian education. Ka'iolani teaches courses in Hawaiian astronomy, navigation, and voyaging at Honolulu Community College and UH Manoa. Under the tutelage of master navigator Nainoa Thompson, Ka'iolani has joined a fiercely proud tradition of Polynesian wayfinding. Ka'iolani served as the master navigator with Captain Pomaikalani Bertelman, completing the final leg of the worldwide voyage of Aloha, sailing the Hokulea home from Tahiti to Hawaii. Both women guided Hokulea home. 
A mentor and friend, Dr. Kamana Beamer, said to me that if Ka'iolani were born in an earlier time in our history, her name would be recalled in our mo'okuauhau, our genealogy, alongside our kupuna voyagers such as Paumokua, Kaha'i, and Kaulu. Lucky for us, Ka'iolani Moani Keala Murphy lives with us today. She is our navigator, a leader for our people, a wahine of amazing mana, vision, and grace. I am humbled and honored to present our keynote speaker, Ka'iolani Moani Keala Murphy. Velina Mekeloha, Aloha Maikako, Aloha. Well, wow, after that introduction, I'm wondering if it's me you're talking about. Um, first of all, Mahalo Nui uh, for uh, inviting me to celebrate and share this special day with all of you. Congratulations to all you graduates for all the hard work that you've done to get to this point. Um, to all your ohana, your family, and your friends who supported you along your way. Of course, to all the faculty and staff that helped you throughout your journey um, here at the University of Hawaii at West Oahu. Um, <clears throat> I think the reason that I was asked to come and speak with you folks, I definitely don't feel worthy. Um, I'd, rather much, I'd much rather hear your guys' stories, but is to share a little bit of mine and I guess my, um, some of my journey as a student uh, a student of navigation, of voyaging, of hokulea, of extraordinary mentors and, and great teachers um, whom I'm so grateful for. Um, I don't need to tell you folks the importance of education and, and good teachers and even if you just have one along your way that that one person can make all the difference. Um, and so I'm reminded actually of another graduation ceremony of sorts uh, about 10 years ago that I was at. Um, a little different from this one, it was on a tiny island called Satoal, and it's in the Caroline Islands of Micronesia. It's um, about 4,000 miles to the west and south of us. Uh, it's always been kind of this mythical island in my mind, not one that I thought I would be standing on, much less have sailed to. Uh, but. Nonetheless, I had the, the great honor and privilege of being there as well. And at this particular um, graduation ceremony, it was called the pole ceremony, um, it was being orchestrated by our master navigator, our first teacher, our first navigator of Hokulea, um, who sailed, who led Hokulea really in uh, 1976 on her maiden voyage to Tahiti. Um, in unfamiliar waters, uh, he always had sailed within um, those kind of 4,000 miles away from us uh, in Micronesia through those islands. But this magical man had this ike that he was brave enough and willing to share outside of his homeland. And so that actually brought kind of the wrath of, of his ohana in, in Satawal and in Micronesia uh, because he was really stepping out of the, the boundaries of the rules that you weren't supposed to teach outside of your family. But in the wisdom that uh, Papa Mao had, he saw that in his own homeland, what, what, had already, what had already happened here in Hawaii, where our, our navigators, our voyagers, our voyaging canoes, they had been sleeping, you could say, for centuries. Um, he saw in his own homeland that the young children weren't interested in learning their, their culture, their ways, uh, the traditional ways, uh, because they were introduced to new things like motors they could put on a boat that they didn't have to build, uh, GPS that you just needed to put in batteries so you could find your way. So why did we need to learn stars or why did we need to know how to build a canoe? Uh, why did we need to learn these skills that that man, Papa Mao, um, 
just embodied and, and was, was willing to teach and wanted to teach. And so he found his students, actually his students found him, I should say, uh, here in Hawaii. And so at this whole ceremony, he was recognizing not just those students' accomplishments, their skills, their ability to pull islands from the sea, but also in this post ceremony, in this graduation, he was really giving them the kuleana that now that they had this ike that he taught, that he shared with them, that his own people didn't want him to share, now they had this, this kuleana to continue to live that ike, to share that with more people. Uh, it was a, a historical ceremony. In fact, the last post ceremony that had happened on his island in Satawal was when he was graduated into this pole level of navigators. And he was inducting, you could say, uh, five men from Hawaii so five men not from Satawal, not even from Micronesia, along with 10 other men from their islands. And actually the following year, another five men from the South Pacific, our Polynesian cousins. And again, in his wisdom, he was seeing that here were people that were interested in learning what he had to teach. He was really a living ancestor for us. And not only was he willing to, or did he have the courage to navigate Tahiti from Hawaii, uh, navigate Hokulea from Hawaii to Tahiti um, that first time in 1976, but he came back and uh, after the asking of Nainoa, he said, you know, we don't need you to find Tahiti again for us, but we need you to teach us how to find it for ourselves. And so he came back and he spent two years uh, with who became my teacher, Nainoa Thompson, um, before Nainoa made his first voyage in 1980 and became the first Hawaiian, the first Polynesian in an estimated, you know, five centuries uh, to have made that voyage from Hawaii to Tahiti and back on a traditional voyage in canoe, not using any instruments, just using the natural clues around us. And now we can feel one of the most important ones to drying up the rain that we were just blessed with this morning. <laughs> Um, but yes, yeah, so in this, in this ceremony, in this post ceremony, uh, it was very evident that Mao understood the importance of education. He is giving his students the kuleana, uh, not just the recognition, but even a harder job of being the light in their community, being a leader in their community, um, carrying forward this knowledge so it would never be lost or sleep, go to sleep again here in Hawaii and other parts of um, our larger Oceana, Ohana. Um, and when I think about that ceremony, I also think about where I was just seven years before that on the very first voyage that I got to be a part of. Um, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you a little short story about that one because it reminds me actually of what we just experienced this morning while you folks were all standing out here <laughs> being blessed by this beautiful ua. Uh, when we were... I, I had the great privilege to be selected to, to sail home from Tahiti. And uh, we had a, a wahine as a navigator, Chantel de Silva. And I was on the support team to help with that um, navigation. And we were in Tahiti for about two weeks. And of course, we all loved it. <laughs> Nobody's bummed about having to stay in Tahiti for two weeks, waiting for a favorable wind. Uh, we, we were in Tautida, which is Hokulea's home in Tahiti. And that whole time we were there, the winds were just very light, non-existent. There was no way we could leave because then we'd just be kind of floating around outside Tahiti. Uh, but the very day that we um, realized in, in our uh, watching of the weather, we realized that this was a day that was going to be um, the perfect day to leave. And so we said our goodbyes to the Ohana, thanked them for hosting us, for taking care of us for two weeks, you know, bringing us into their homes, making us a part of their family, doing everything from feeding us to doing our laundry, whether we wanted them to do it or not. And um, we got on board, Hokulea, we let go the lines. We started to go out the lagoon. And you can say that our voyage started off with a bang because we got struck by lightning. <laughs> so I was holding on to the mast 
And that's not a good thing to hold on to. It's the one stick that stands up <laughs> the highest thing on the canoe. So, of course, uh, I felt a little jolt when that lightning hit us. And I actually saw this blue line go between my, my bicep and my forearm. And it wasn't a painful shock, but it was one that I think everyone on board felt. And we just kind of all looked around at each other in this silent awe, like, what just happened? <laughs> and we looked up at the mountain. So it's, it's almost like the mountain was right here where this building is, uh, called Tahuareva. And another bolt of lightning had actually struck that mountain and started a fire. So here we are on this, you know, after two weeks of peaceful, hardly any weather, we're going out of the lagoon, and we have all this action going on, lightning, thunder, and we're, I'm kind of wondering to myself, like, are we really supposed to be leaving now? <laughs> Is this a good sign or a bad sign? And so later we found out, of course, from our ohana that um, the rain that had come eventually doused the fire on the mountain, they didn't have, you know, fire stations down there. But um, they saw it as a sign from the Tupuna, that it was a good sign. They were bidding us a safe journey. Um, but that was quite a send-off, I must say. And once we were out of the lagoon, we were making our way past Tahiti. And I just remember that first night, it was still rainy. It was still thunderstormy. It was still everything... Everywhere I looked around the horizon, I've never seen this before, and I've never seen it since, but there were just these bolts of lightning coming all around us, like from these clouds. It was far enough away, you know, it's just never seen that before. It was wet, cold. <laughs> my, ja my, my fall weather gear was, was already drenched. And I just remember, you know, we were all hands on deck because of, because of the weather. And I remember sitting there on one of the boxes of the canoe, and I'm thinking to myself, like, oh, my God, like, what did I get myself into? <laughs> Is it going to be like this for the next three weeks? I don't know if I can take this. You know, so that's when, you know, it's moments like that when we're on the canoe. Uh, especially for me, that was my first time. It's like the first night out at sea for a long voyage. I've done a lot of inter-island and overnight crossing since that uh, before then but nothing could really have prepared me for that moment although I knew I, I always felt safe uh, I felt I had you know the confidence that my teachers uh, my captain and navigators um, knew how to keep us safe and that our training did prepare us well enough for this for this one voyage and the next day it got sunny and actually we got very light winds again for another few days before we hit the equator and started just jamming home. And we made it home in about 22 days. Um, by the end of that voyage, you know, you start out much like, you know, in your classes, you might know each other a little bit. Hopefully by the end of the semester, you know each other a lot better. But it's kind of like on the canoe, you're just, you're forced to get to know each other. <laughs> you're in this small space and you really become a family by the end of that 22 days, by the end of that voyage. Um, if any of you have been camping, if you like camping, you can imagine being on a va'a is much like camping, um, except you're on the water and you can't get off of it. <laughs> um, there's very little private space and you're faced with possible, you know, life-threatening scenarios, those kinds of things, you know, from the weather, um, having downtime, whether it's calm, whether it's rough, you know, those kinds of things bring us together as a crew. And those kinds of experiences we remember, and we can only really talk about those experiences with each other and understand, you know, that bond that we've built um, because we went through that together, because we went through those challenges together. Um, there's so many reasons why, you know, we can, all of us, we can, you know, compare being on a voyage to any kind of voyage in our life, you know, whether it's our journey through school, uh, through our job. Um, but those, those crew members that we sail with, those are our family for life. Um, you trust each other with your lives. You, you know, you have each other's back. And... Um, I think that was one of the 
main reasons that, that Pumai and I felt we were able to take on that kuleana that our teachers bestowed on us to bring Hokulea home after her um, historical worldwide voyage. And we took a long time to talk about whether or not we would accept Nainoa's uh, request for us to, to bring Hokulea home. We were freaked out when we first were asked. We didn't know, well, we knew that we didn't know enough. We knew that we didn't know everything. And so we knew that we needed to surround ourselves with people who did know and could fill in those gaps. And um, we built, we were able to build a strong team around us. Um, I'm not a master navigator, but I'm st much, very much a student of navigation. And one thing that Nainoa had, had said to me before um, this voyage was, you know, the, when he first called Mao a master navigator, Mao kind of scolded him. And of course, we call Nainoa a master navigator now, but really to, to Mao, what a master navigator was, was um, it was when a navigator had a student and that student was successful. And so in this, in this voyage where Pumai and I brought Hokulea home, as much as we didn't want to be um, in that role of leading, leading this, um, this crew, and you know, you, it's so stressful because it's a very publicized voyage, it's out there, social media, and um, you know, it wouldn't be so much pressure if we knew nobody else was watching, <laughs> but there's the fear of failure and, and at the same time having to balance that with the, the, the confidence that our teachers wouldn't ask us to do that if they didn't believe in us. And I feel like that's, that's exactly um, what today is for you folks. You know, your teachers believed in you. Uh, you've, did, you've done all the hard work, all the training, all the preparation leading up to this day. And not only is it giving you the recognition for all your hard work, but also that kuleana, that now what are you going to do with that ike? Uh, and you have your whole lives ahead of you, of course. And you can know, you can have the confidence that you can really do anything um, that you put your mind to. And I think I've already talked way too long, so I was going <laughs> to wrap it up there. But um, again, I want to congratulate all of you and uh, wish you the best of luck in your, your future journey. Aloha. Thank you, Kaiolani, for that electrifying speech. That was my one joke for the day. You guys can laugh. <laughs> Uh, now, our Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Jeffrey Moniz, will recognize the candidates for graduation with distinction and honor students. The university is proud of those students who are graduating with distinction. Based on a four point scale, these candidates have earned a minimum grade point average of 3.75 and have completed at least 30 credits at UH West Oahu. You'll find the names of these outstanding students marked with an asterisk in your program. Will all those graduating with distinction and wearing a red cord rise or raise your hand? Please remain standing or keep your hand raised until I'm done if you're able. In addition, the graduating class includes several members who were selected for national honor societies such as Alpha Phi Sigma, Alpha Kappa Delta, Lambda Alpha, Psi Chi, Sigma Tau Delta, Golden Key International Honor Society, and Kappa Delta Pi. To symbolize this achievement, these students are adorned with cords of various colors, pins, or medallions. Will those students please rise or raise your hand? Remain standing. 
We would now like to recognize the student marshals. These students' academic achievements have resulted in their selection to assist their fellow candidates during the commencement ceremony. Will the student marshals wearing a red and white cord symbolizing their service to UH West Oahu please rise or raise your hand? We would like to call upon those students who augmented their studies by participating in service learning. Those with the service learning red yarn lay, please rise or raise your hand. We would like to recognize those students who served in various capacities on our chartered student organizations including the Associated Students of UH West Oahu, Campus Center Board, Student Media Board, and Student Activity Board. Thank you for fostering our thriving student life. Please rise or raise your hand. Last but certainly not least, we would like to recognize our student veterans and thank them for their service. For those veterans, including those in the audience, please rise or raise your hand. <laughs> audience, please join me in applauding all of these candidates and veterans one more time for their accomplishments. Thank you all. You may be seated. Thank you, Dr. Moniz. Now, now Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, Judy Oliveira, will introduce our student speaker. I am pleased to introduce our student speaker, Terina Faagao. <laughs> Terina is graduating with a degree in social sciences with concentrations in political science and sociology. She served as a tutor in the Noel Center for Writing, Math, and Academic Success and was selected as a Ka'ala Research Assistant under UH West Oahu's Institute of Engaged Scholarship. She was also selected as a member of the legislative internship and as a member of the dean's list. Congratulations. <clears throat> Aloha Pumehana Kako. Mahalo distinguished faculty, special guests, as well as family and friends for joining us today. A little over four years ago, I pictured myself going to a big university and living the college life that I'd always seen in movies and on friends' social media. I imagined huge lecture halls, all-nighters in the library, and, of course, college parties. So when I started at UH West Oahu, I was surprised and not too thrilled. The campus was smaller than my high school. It didn't have the major I originally intended on pursuing, and this being a commuter school meant, unfortunately, no parties. My dissatisfaction with my new school showed. I only came to campus for class, and I avoided people in passing. I'd even whined to my friends about how much I wanted to transfer to a real college. However, it's pretty clear that since I'm not only graduating from UH West Oahu, but standing here delivering this speech, a lot has changed. Two years ago when I was hired at the Noeau Center, I didn't want to be known as the one grouchy tutor nobody wanted to work with. So I was forced to come out of my shell. As a tutor, I had no choice but to get to know more people on campus. I also started engaging more with the other students in my classes, whether it was asking what assignments were due next or hanging out and talking story in the courtyard after class. 
That change in attitude made me appreciate that engaging with others was making a positive change in me. I came to realize what I'm sure was common sense to everyone else around me, that life is a lot better when you're connecting with others in your community. You know the Dr. Seuss line from How the Grinch Stole Christmas that goes, in Whoville, they say, the Grinch's heart grew three sizes that day. Well, I don't want to liken myself to the Grinch, especially at this time of year, but I do think that the West Oahu community has similarly caused my heart to grow. In my three and a half years on this campus, I've learned that nothing about UH West Oahu fits the typical college stereotype, but that's exactly what gives this place its essence. Our school may be small, but we make up for it in impactful interactions and connections due to our diversity whether in terms of ethnicity, age, opinion, religion, or life experience. Look around at this stage at our graduating class. Yes, we have many students who look like those typically portrayed in college movies, but we also have veterans, immigrants, and children of immigrants, those who are the first in their family to graduate, parents, grandparents, and future leaders. Because of our many differences, we've forged unique and meaningful friendships with people from all walks of life. And smaller class sizes meant that we had the opportunity to work with professors who actually knew who we were and cared about how we were doing both in and outside of school. From these relationships with professors, staff, and fellow students, we've learned more about the world than could ever be taught in any course. I've learned what it truly means to be a part of a community. And I can't speak for everyone, but these people and this community is what I'll miss most about what will soon be our alma mater. So while today is about celebrating us, the fall 2017 graduating class, it's also about celebrating those who've helped us get this far, our families, friends, faculty and staff. Anti-apartheid and human rights activist Desmond Tutu explains that a person is a person through other persons. Therefore, humanity comes into its own in community, in belonging. When you do well, it spreads out. It is for the whole of humanity. While we'll all pursue our own individual goals after today, I hope that everyone keeps those words in mind. As we go forward and leave this tight-knit community for others, we must remember that we have the responsibility as community members to foster aloha and demonstrate integrity, to serve others and our aina, and to work together to create a world that celebrates and appreciates diversity in the same way that we've experienced here at UH West Oahu. So finally, after one too many literature reviews, countless trips to the Noeao Center's free snack table, and long walks in the Kapolei heat to and from the gravel parking lot, we've made it. <laughs> So congratulations and here's to us. <laughs>
in a fragile forest ecology threatened by the ceaseless encroachment of capitalistic industrialization. Finally, in Maurice Sendak's Where the Wild Things Are, a boy named Max watches the walls of his room transform into a jungle full of trees before sailing off in his imaginary odyssey into a realm of terrifying but tameable monsters. I also spend a good, deal of, a good deal of time in my world history classes talking about the important role of trees in ancient human cultures. The Chinese relied on the leaves of the mulberry tree to feed the worms whose cocoon filaments they transformed into silk. The Egyptians cultivated papyrus trees whose pith they used to create a writing surface that functioned much like paper. Polynesian voyagers transported the coconut palm to thousands of Pacific islands, including those of Hawaii, where it provided food, drink, shade, and material for housing, thatching, furniture, and baskets. For Hawaiians, the new or coconut palm, palm was a tree possessing a high level of mana that helped connect people to gods and their ancestors. Well, today, UH West Oahu graduates, you are the trees that all cultures cherish. You are the connection to your ancestors and the generations that follow. You have basked in the sun, maybe not so much today, of higher education and soaked up water in the form of the support you have received from your family members and friends. Your trunks have grown tall and firm and your fruit is ripe. From this day forward, you will focus on giving, on nurturing and providing for others, Oh, sorry. on supporting your family and sustaining your community. You will give laughter to your friends, loyalty to your spouse, unconditional love to your children, time to your community, and perhaps even some money to your cherished alma mater. <laughs> Remember, though, as much, as often, and as freely as you give, there is one part of your tree you may never surrender, the roots. Although the roots are the component of a tree that remains hidden, they are essential to its survival. For humans, these unseen roots contain our most treasured memories, our deepest secrets, and our most paralyzing fears. All of those things your classmates and your teachers never learned about you. However, your roots also include your familiar ancestry, and cultural heritage, your moral, religious, and spiritual beliefs that have guided the decisions and actions you have taken to reach this point and that will continue to guide you forward into your bright futures. After all, even Shel Silverstein's exceedingly magnanimous giving tree retained its roots. From this graduation day forward, may your trunks continue to grow tall and sturdy May your branches extend far and wide into new horizons beyond your wildest imaginations. May your fruit nourish and bring joy to all whom you encounter. And may your roots always remain connected to this place and this moment in time. Aloha. Thank you, Dr. Rosenfeld. We will now proceed with awarding of academic degrees and certificates. I would like to call Vice Chancellor Oliveira and Dr. Jan Javinar from Student Affairs to the podium to present the candidates for degrees and certificates. And will Vice Chair Kudo, Vice President Strainy, Chancellor Benham, and Vice Chancellor Moniz please come to the stage. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Business and Applied Science degrees please rise and come forward? And will the Business Division Chair, Dr. Derek Choi, please join the reception line?
Rashad Hicks. <laughs> Elaine Aquino. Nikki Tamayo. Justin Limasa. Niall Flores. Murby Joyce Nicholas, Concentration and Management. Lena Onizuka, Concentration in Finance. Cheryl Valdries, Concentration in Management and Marketing with Distinction. Candy Sablon, Concentration in Management. Virginia Taylor, Concentration in General Business Administration. Kyra Takayanagi, Concentration in Accounting. Misaki Murakami, Concentration in Marketing. Lynette Santiago, Concentration in General Business Administration. Alexander Bautista, Concentration in Finance. Timothy Carbillon, Concentration in Accounting. Robert Limos, Concentration in Accounting. Arlene May Ramos, Concentration in Accounting. Johnny Nguyen, Concentration in Accounting. John Patrick Kaulia, Concentration in General Business Administration. Tiana Con Gibson, Concentration in Accounting. Darrell Bongbonga, Concentrations in Accounting and Finance, Certificate in Risk Management and Insurance with Distinction. John Clinton Acoba, Concentrations in Accounting and Finance, Certificate in Risk Management and Insurance. Christopher Bullison, Concentration in Marketing. Sean Michael Bonilla, Concentration in Management. Kaylee Albanza, Concentration in General Business Administration with Distinction. Nicole Loncapu, Concentration in Accounting with Distinction. Anita Hicks, Concentration in Accounting. Kara Akiyoshi, Concentration in General Business Administration. Jessica Johnson, Concentration in Management. Amber Salud, Concentration in Management. Nicole Verano, Concentration in Management. Mary Lafasa Awong, Concentrations in Accounting and General Business Administration. Sarah Bell, Concentration in Accounting. Rihanna Jane Carino, Concentration in Management. Kuuleleni Woods, Concentration in Finance. Chantal Weekleman, Concentration in Accounting. Woo! Queenie Kate Corpus, Concentration in Accounting with Distinction. Yay, Lisa! Lisa! Joshua Michael Gielen, Concentration in Marketing. Jaysurne Gear, Concentration in Accounting with Distinction. 
Carmen Cao, Concentration and Business, General Business Administration. Mallory Smao, Concentration and Accounting. Florine Enos, Concentration and General Business Administration. Shai Akana, Concentration and Management. Crystal Leigh Ramos, Concentration and General Business Administration. Conlin Casal, Concentration and General Business Administration. Angela Remmers, Concentration and Management Certificate and Healthcare Administration. Sarah Seals, Concentration and General Business Administration with Distinction. Sharilyn Masuda, Concentration and Accounting with Distinction. Tran Tran, Concentration and Management. Jasmine Veasley, Concentration in Accounting. Savannah DiMarco, Concentration in Management. Jana Okamura, Concentration in Management. Sean Benigo, Concentration in Accounting. Phil Butak. Concentration and Accounting. Roberta Cahele, Concentration and General Business Administration. Teresa Jenny Silao, Concentration and Management and Marketing. Christopher Bonilla, Concentration and Management with Distinction. Jenny Morishima, Concentration in Accounting. Ranson Yoshino, Concentration in General Business Administration. Jasmine Vieira, Concentration in Management. Jacqueline Thon, Concentration in Management with Distinction. Carrie Kahaolepua, Concentration in Management with Distinction. Tracy Takahashi, Concentration in Accounting. Eric Chong, Concentration in Marketing. Kiyoki Dua, Concentration in General Business Administration. David Beckham, Concentration in Management. Joey Lebon, Concentration in General Business Administration. Dalton Kim, Concentration in Hospitality and Tourism. Danielle Chung, Concentration in Marketing. Jermaine Gill, Concentration in Management. Jonathan Mihara, Concentration in General Business Administration with Distinction. Jonathan DeLeon, Concentration in Marketing. Joseph Santino Sid, Concentration in Marketing. Nitendra Prasad, Concentrations in Accounting and Finance, Certificate in Risk Management and Insurance with Distinction. Bronson Kahui Boros, Concentration in Management. Daphne Henyan, Concentration in Accounting. Timothy Gunderson, Concentration in Information Security and Insurance. Bryce Briggles, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance. Mark Perry, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance. 
Joseph Lorenz III, Concentration and Information Security and Assurance. Jeremy Padua, Concentration and Information Security and Assurance. Jonah Padua, Concentration and Information Security and Assurance. Christopher Joshua Ulep, Concentration in Computing, Electronics, and Network Technology. Marvin Arnon Bunafe, Concentrations in Computing, Electronics, and Network Technology. Brian Tanaka, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance. Gabriel Farinas, Concentration in Computing, Electronics, and Network Technology. Christine Joy Rioka, Concentration in Computing, Electronics, and Network Technology. Catherine Sarte, Concentration in Computing, Electronics, and Network Technology. Frances Boucher, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance. Alan Wu, Concentration in Information Technology. Devin Roscoe, Concentration in Computing, Electronic, and Network Technology with Distinction. Justin Coombs, Con Cobbs, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance with Distinction. Brittany Stoshev, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance. Christian Ezra Ramos, Concentration in Information Security and Assurance. Scott Kitamori, Concentration in Sustainable Community Food Systems with Distinction. Bradley Ponce, Concentration in Computing Electronics and Network Technology. Kara Nita, Concentration in Computing Electronics and Network Technology. Scott Nishiura, Concentration in Computing Electronics and Network Technology. Congratulations, Business and Applied Science candidates. BUSA and Applied Science candidates, you may be seated. And will the candidates for the Bachelor of Education degree please rise and come forward. And if I may ask Education Division Chair Dr. Mary Heller to join the reception line. Gina Marie Ramiscal, Concentration in Elementary Ed with Distinction. Marie Edwards, Concentration in Elementary Education. Ashley Ichimura, Concentration in Elementary Education. Elizabeth Soldner, Concentration in Elementary Education with Distinction. Allison Ontai, Concentration in Elementary Education. Congratulations, education candidates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree in Humanities please rise and come forward? And will Humanities Division Chair Dr. Stan Orr please join the reception line?
Adrian Unpinko. Concentration in English with distinction. Mark Matsumoto. Concentration in creative media with distinction. Taryn Alejado. Concentration in history. Tony Giang, concentration in history with distinction. Nathan Brown, concentration in English. Leah Marie Transfiguracion, concentration in creative media. August Harrington, Concentration in Creative Media. Hugh Fleming, Concentration in Creative Media. Eva Hubbard, Concentration in Hawaiian Pacific Studies. Sarah Panoke, Concentration in Hawaiian Pacific Studies. Carla Kahala, Concentration in English. Janelle Saole, Concentration in Creative Media. Alohalani Pangalinan, Concentration in Hawaiian Pacific Studies with Distinction. Almendro Fernandez, concentration in English with distinction. Congratulations, humanities candidates. Will the candidates for the Bachelors of Arts in Public Administration please rise and come forward? Will the Division Chair for Public Administration, Dr. Christina Liu, please join the reception line. Keao Chun, Concentrations in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management and Healthcare Administration. Kanuda Spears, Concentration and Certificate in Healthcare Administration with Distinction. <laughs> Julia Wassell, Concentration and Justice Administration with Distinction. <laughs> Trisha Lee Lumho, Concentration and Justice Administration. <laughs> Kalena Lessery, Concentration and Healthcare Administration. Peter Besanoff, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management. Kirsten Murkowski, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Kami Narusara, Concentration in Healthcare Administration with Distinction. Chris Ryan Makinano, Concentration in Justice Administration. Nico Sambilo, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Russell Sotele, Concentration in Justice Administration. Lynn Robinson Ondurko, Concentration in General Public Administration with Distinction. Sarah Antone, Concentration in General Public Administration. Katie Saviejo, Concentration in Healthcare Administration with Distinction. Melehifo Feetonu, Concentration in Justice Administration. Carol Malufo, Concentration in Justice Administration with Distinction. 
Marcus Townsend, Concentration and Justice Administration with distinction. <clears throat> Jessica Christina Boxa, Concentration and Certificate in Healthcare Administration. Jamie Ann Montog, Concentration in Healthcare Administration with distinction. Latoya Roan, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Candace Leong, Concentration in Justice Administration. Jacqueline Laponte, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Rebecca Bates, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Chelsea Parrish, Concentrations in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management and General Public Administration. Cameron Walker, Concentration in Justice Administration. Shonda Basham, Concentration in Healthcare Administration with Distinction. Geraldine Eli, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. <laughs> Daniel Coronado, Concentration in Healthcare Administration with Distinction. Jane Clark, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management with Distinction. Chris Nomura, Concentration and Justice Administration. <laughs> Cheyenne Mercado, Concentration and Healthcare Administration with Distinction. <laughs> Brennan Doan, Concentration and Certificate in Healthcare Administration with Distinction. Chris Marie Denise Ruiz, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Jenny Marie Corpus, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. William Villa, Concentration in Justice Administration. Teofila Relesiva, Concentration in Healthcare Administration with Distinction. Mark Christian Dila, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Sirian Espiritu, Concentration in General Public Administration. Leo Seto, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management. Zane Jansen, Concentration and Certificate in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management. Matthew Romain, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management with Distinction. Paul Perry III, Concentration and Justice Administration. Daphne Henyon, Concentration and Justice Administration. Congratulations, public administration candidates. Public admin candidates, you may be seated. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences please rise and come forward? And will Division Chair for Social Sciences, Dr. Mark Hansen, please join the reception line?
Jeremy Silva, Concentrations in Psychology and Sociology with Distinction. Royce Nagai, Concentrations in Anthropology and Psychology and Certificate in Applied Forensics Anthropology. Christopher Davis, Concentration in Psychology. Jamie West, Concentration in Sociology with Distinction. Michael O'Mealy, Concentration in Psychology. Vanessa Va'a, Concentration in Sociology. Terina Faangao, Concentrations in Political Science and Sociology and Certificate in Democratic Principles and Social Justice with Distinction. Sydney Romero, Concentration in Sociology. Audrey Fulkerson, Concentration in Sociology. Megan Hansen, Concentration in Sociology. Kiana Ray Vendetta, Concentrations in Psychology and Sociology. Kayla Hill, Concentration in Psychology. Morgan Dutkowski, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. Caitlin Marcello, Concentration in Psychology. Junali Elehino, Concentration in Psychology. Ha'ane Taiting Fong, Concentration in Economics with Distinction. Elena Galloway, Concentration in Anthropology and a Certificate in Applied Forensic Anthropology. Alex Wong, Certificate in Applied Forensic Anthropology. Robert Carrera, Concentration in Anthropology with Distinction and Certificate in Applied Forensic Anthropology. Ariel Falcone, Concentration in Applied Track. J.P. Balisakan, Concentration in Economics. Desiree Rabanis, Concentration in Applied Track. Charmaine McClady, Concentration in Psychology. Angela Correra, Concentration in Psychology and a Certificate in Substance Abuse and Addiction Studies. Jasmine Kamai, Concentration in Psychology. <laughs> Shayla Kama, Concentrations in Anthropology and Psychology. <laughs> Yvette, Yvette Togikawa, Concentration in Applied Track. <laughs> Jennifer Horikawa, Concentration in Applied Track. Valentine Giron, Concentration in Psychology. Joanne Galamgam, Concentration in Psychology. Tiare Lynn Ogata, Concentration in Psychology. Erica Cristina Carlos, Concentration in Psychology. 
Tyler Blackman, Concentrations in Psychology and Sociology. Kayla Jane Yanis, Concentration in Psychology. Tanisha Lum, Concentration in Psychology. Chance Nakazato, Concentration in Psychology. Patrice Tana, Concentrations in Political Science and Psychology. Tiffany Kasoga, Concentration in Psychology. Elliot Dixon, Concentration in Political Science. Donna Arai, Concentration in Early Childhood Education. Michelle Capule, Concentration in Early Childhood Education with Distinction. Yvonne Almeida, Concentration in Early Childhood Education. Congratulations, Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences candidates. You may be seated. Receiving line, you may be seated. And if I may ask Chancellor Benham and Ch Vice Chancellor Moniz back to the podium, and will our faculty marshals, doc Drs. Jennifer Burns and Monica Labriola, please take your position at front. The faculty commencement marshal is a duty of honor and distinction. Our faculty marshals were selected because of their significant achievements. Dr. Labriola was the recipient of the Francis Davis Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Teaching in 2017. And Dr. Burns played a key role in collaboratively developing a forensics anatomy course that won a national award. Congratulations to the both of our faculty marshals and mahalo for your contribution to our campus. Okay. Will all the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration, Bachelor of Applied Science, Bachelor of Education, Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, Bachelor of Arts in Public Administration, the Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, as well as the students who are candidates for certificates, please rise. <laughs> Chancellor Benham, it gives me great pleasure to present to you these candidates. They have completed their respected courses of studies, and are recommended by the faculty for the award of the appropriate degrees and certificates. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents and the State of Hawaii, I hereby confer upon you the degree and certificates to which you are entitled. Graduates, this is a very important symbolic rite of passage from student to graduate. Keep your eyes on the faculty marshals who will guide you through the symbolic transition from candidates for a degree or certificate to holder of a degree or certificate. With your marshals as your guide, you will now move the tassel on your motor boards from right to left. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the University of Hawaii West Oahu fac 
fall 2017 class. Congratulations, UH West Oahu graduates. Thank you, Chancellor Benham. I would like to give special recognition to my co MC and UH West Oahu graduate, Rashad Hicks. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings our commencement to a close. You may greet your graduates in the plaza and the grass field to my right. To view today's commencement ceremony online, please visit our website at uhwo.hawaii.edu. Will the audience please remain at your seats until the platform party, faculty, and students have exited.